Hey guys. Today I want to show a Zep Lalo guide for starters. In my opinion, it's the strongest strategy in the game if used correctly, of course. There are a few steps in planning for a Zep Lalo hit. First, orientation. A big part of Zep Lalo is to zap out key defenses, and the amount of Zep spells depends on what you want to zap out. This video will only take a look at zapping out clan castle with the buildings around it, but you can also zap out other key defenses such as scatter shots, inferno towers, etc. You will need 8 spells to take out a clan castle. Doing this, there are 3 combinations of spells to do this. First, 7 zap spells, 1 earthquake. Second, 6 zap spells, 2 earthquake. And last, 5 sub spells and 3 earthquakes. Combination that you use varies from base to base. If you want to zap the clan castle with a hero and other defenses, you will need 7 zap spells and 1 earthquake. But if there are no heroes around Clan Castle, you can best take 5 Zap spells and 3 Earthquakes. If there is no hero next to the CC or Clan Castle, but the Eagle is, take 6 Zap spells and 2 Earthquakes. That will take down an Eagle Artillery. Six, 7 Zap spells, 1 Earthquake will also take down an Eagle Artillery, but the third variant, 5 Zap spells and 3 Earthquakes will not take down an Eagle Artillery. Once you have decided what you want to zap on the base, you will need to take a look for good ways to enter with your Sui or your heroes, what you want to call it. What value you take with the heroes depends on the base. Some bases you can take out the town hall, other bases is better to Sui another part of the base. Doing the Sui, your heroes have a few tasks. 1. Take out more key defenses and more importantly, make nice pathing for the Lalo. This is very, very important. Once you plant your Sui and you're ready to go, you need to decide where to do the Lalo part. While you're looking for a good place to enter with your Lalo, take a few things in mind. 1. Look for air sweepers. Where, they, where are they pointing to? You don't want to fly right into air sweeper, it will mess up your Lalo. Next, look for remaining heroes, such as Queen or the RC. Then locate where is the town hall, if you have not taken down the town hall with your Sui. But also locate other key defenses, such as Infernos, remaining Infernos, Eagle Artillery, Scatter Shots and Xbos. Also take in mind that you want to take down the remaining key defenses early in the raid because in the end of the raid it will be difficult to take down these defenses. But also very important, again, pathing. Make sure you carve out a good chunk of the base with the zap spells and the heroes so that the loons have nowhere to go than where you want them to go. Once you decided where you want to place your zap spells, where to Sui and where to Lalo from, you're ready to go. In this first replay, you can see here's the clan castle, what's around the clan castle. There's two wizard towers, one inferno tower, no heroes, no scatters, no eagle around it. So in this case, it's best to take five zap spells and three earthquakes. The zap spells you will use to take down clan castle Inferno Tower and a Wizard Tower, and remaining 3 Zap spells you will use to damage these Scatter Shots so that they will be easier to take down with the Sui. Next, how to Sui. In this case, the base is symmetrical, it's not a big deal which, si which way you will enter the base. On this base, I decided to come in from here. To take with my uh, king and my queen to take down the scatter shot, royal champion, and the inferno tower. With my royal champion, I decided to put her up from this side to take down mortar, cannon, and the other scatter shot. I will probably not um, get to the archer queen, but I have headhunters in my 
army composition, so those will take down the archer queen. Once I raised this side of the base, I will start my Lalo from this side. Why? This air sweeper I will take down with my king and my queen, and the remaining air sweeper is this side. Also, the queen is um, right where I start my Lalo, so I will take her down quickly, so she will not uh, snipe off my loons. Last but not least, the town hall. The town hall is very centralized in this base, so I will have to take a battle blimp to take it down. I will use sneaky goblins in my clan castle to swiftly take down the town hall. Okay, let's take a look. First, I zap out the clan castle with 5 zaps and 3 earthquakes. One earthquake on this side, two earthquakes on this side. Probably what would have been better if I put three on this side, so my RC would take it down with her ability, but still. King, Queen, Ice Golem and Super Wall Breaker to break in. Funnel has been set with the Baby Dragon, so that's nice. Wizard on top to create extra funnel so that the Queen will not accidentally go to the top. King and Queen go nicely to take down all champion, scattershot, air sweeper, and eventually this. On this, with the RC, I decided to pop the ability early. The reason for this, there are archer tower and wizard tower here, and royal champions pathing was going to the archer tower. But I wanted to take her down the scattershot, so I decided to pop it early. So change to path of the royal champion, so she takes down. The scatter shot, which she does. She does not take down the queen, as I expected, but I still have headhunters. Queen walks back, takes the inferno, and we can start the Lalo. I put main group of loons on this side, and I will support the main group with loons from the side, so my Lalo force will stay in the base and not will go outside to take, for instance, mortars. I haste to make sure the loons go quicker, of course. I put my headhunters blimp and my loons in the warden ability to make sure headhunters kill the queen and the battle blimp gets to the town hall. I also freeze the town hall to make sure the town hall doesn't hit these bottom group loons, extra loons from the bottom to make sure the loons are going as I want them to, and at this point I have way too many loons for only two um, arch towers to stop them. So let's speed this up. And it is crushed. This base was a bit of an easy one, but still a nice example. Let's take a look at the next base. Let's start with identifying zap value. In this case, there's clan castle with royal champion and two scatter shots right next to the clan castle. In this case, you can take down the scatter shot if you use seven zap spells. If you use seven zap spells, you can take down the clan if you can damage the clan castle and take down scatter shots without waking up the town hall, which is important for the Sui. After I zapped the scatter shots and the clan castle, where to Sui? In this case, I want to Sui for the town hall because I can take down every hero literally all for the heroes, and create a nice pathing for Melalo to go from 10 o'clock through 6 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Why do I decide to start from 10 o'clock? Because of the air sweeper. If I start Melalo this side, the sweeper will mess up my flight and I prefer that doesn't happen. So let's take a look. So first I zap the 
Klein castle en die scattershot, as planned. Earthquake on top to make sure the town hall does not uh, wake up early. Then Ice Golem, King, Queen with one headhunter, two headhunters actually, to take down King, Royal Champion, Baby Dragon this side, two loons on this side for extra funneling, Super Wall Breaker to make sure Queen goes inside, which was perfectly timed. Queen will hop different walls so the king goes outside, still no problem, king comes back now. Pop his ability to make sure he gets on time before the queen starts hitting my queen. Queen still with ability takes down warden and walks this way to take down a few more defenses. Meanwhile, start Melalo with the Royal Champion. Did not need my Royal Champion for the Sui, so it goes under the Lalo. Haste to get to the Tesla farm. Stone Slammer from the bottom side to support the loons. There are a few uh, external mortars over here, which I take down with two loons each. Road Champion dies, unfortunately, but still have a huge group of loons. Which, yeah, path almost perfectly for me. Take down, expo, expo, third expo, all down. And what's remaining? Only the Inferno Tower. And I still have like 10 loons and a Stone Slammer, which I pop now for cleanup reasons. King even made it um, all the way to the raid, which is nice, I guess. Lots of minions, lots of pups. Let's speed this up. And also again crushed. Let's take a look at one more replay. This and against base number one. This base I hit also during uh, CWL. Um, and you can zap out Clan Castle, Grand Warden, and an Xbo using seven zaps and one. Earthquake. Again, why 7 zaps? Because I can take down the Xbo before the raid even starts, which is nice because otherwise there's not really a lot of zap value. Then the Sui. In this base I like to Sui the Town Hall. You can Sui the Scattershot, Royal Champion and maybe even the Inferno Tower, which leaves a nice path for the Lalo. So, these, this arch tower is nice against the elixir collector. So if you use two loons, you will take down arch tower and elixir collector. You can funnel easy on the top side, so your heroes will have no problem going to the town hall, scattershot, and the road champion. Let's take a look. There go the zaps. Seven zaps to take down the um, expo. Quake to damage these defenses, two loons to create the funnel on this side, baby dragon to funnel this side, takes down both of the camps, then I put my king, ice golem for extra tanking, queen behind, then here comes the super wall breaker, I aimed it for this wall because um, it will pop due to the Royal Champion, which makes my King go real easy between the walls. Freeze is nice from the Ice Golem, freezes up everything. King takes down the Town Hall, Royal Champion comes in from 10 o'clock. I decided to freeze the Royal Champion and the Cannon here to um, make sure my Queen keeps her ability for a little bit later. Royal Champion pops his ability and will take down the Inferno Tower. Queen comes back nice, but doesn't uh, really care right now. Start my ladder from this side. Queen takes down uh, Wizard Tower, which is nice. And again, uh, this time I put in a smaller group over here. Because there are 
it's it's a narrow path. So I start with um, a small piece of my lalo over here, and will push my main force. Once this initial group enters the base, I will push in more loons and hounds from the twelve to three o'clock side. Slammer from three o'clock to put in the extra damage over here. Freeze the queen plus the inferno tower with my headhunters to take down the queen really easy. Scatter shot will get yeah overwhelmed and what's left. Eagle gets taken down, only two is a towers and an inferno tower. But I even have a freeze left, which I will use on the inferno tower to save my stone slammer. These loons will take down the arch tower nicely. And right now I have like 15 loons, a dragon and lots of cleanup left with plenty of time. So yeah, again, overkill. Even have 5 minions left. I don't know why I didn't place them, but yeah, again, crushed. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I apologize for my poor English. I'm still practicing. I hope you find it useful and see you guys tomorrow.